What's up, God? This is Unique English in Amharic with Mahari. You guys like how you doing today? I'm gonna teach you about super common phrasal verbs. Order your men to turn on the Nova Corps. The poor man simply cannot keep away from you, Miss Elliot. We just need to figure out what he's after. You want me to call off the ceremony for that? And for that, you want to call off the wedding? Hold on there, boy. I'll go look for some food. Take the shotgun. It will be difficult for them to keep away. Super common phrasal verbs. But I'm super common, but a jig, but I'm a telemoto super common. No master match, but I guess them don't go anywhere. Can't stay focused. <laughs> so they're like, a first phrasal verb is call off. Ashenafi, what do you mean by call? Medawalar? Metrata, call off. So that's metra metrata. So to call off means, for example, if I say that, you know, like the meeting has been called off, right? Because of the bad weather, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, for example, we got an appointment today, yeah? Yeah? yeah. Or you may have an appointment uh, today in the afternoon. You want an appointment at the level. Now, if the weather is bad, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, I call off. Huh? Huh? I. I... Don't go to the... I don't go to where? To the appointment. So what do you do then? I stay home. You stay home. What do you mean by call off then? You cancel it. What does it mean? Huh? What does it mean? You are cancelled. You cancel the meeting. Yes or no? Mm. You cancel the meeting. Like, cancel. So let's see. So let's see. I want to just... Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I want to call off our appointment. Excuse me, sir, uh, I, I want to call the meeting because I'm a little bit under the weather. So when you feel under the weather, under the weather, under the weather, mm. under the weather, I am under the weather means I am a little bit sick, right? I'm under the weather, but see, I'm under the weather. I'm under the weather. Therefore, I want to call the meeting, see, therefore, huh? I want to call the meeting. I'm under the weather, therefore I want to call the meeting. So you want me to call off the ceremony for that? And for that, you want to call off the wedding? Well, to call the meeting means just to cancel the meeting, right? To cancel the meeting, right? So, Masarazmazno, Katarachun, Subsava, and Amsasarazum, and Mutrut, call off meeting. I want to call off the meeting because I'm not feeling okay today, right? I want to call off our appointment because I'm a little bit sick today, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Are you good at cutting off meetings? Do you like meetings first of all? Uh, meetings. Meeting? Uh. Meeting, uh, formal meeting? You mean? Formal meetings. I, I don't like. You don't meetings. like? Yeah. You want to have some kind of informal conversation with friends? Uh, of course. Uh, good for nothing, nigga. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. call off. But you see, call off. Call. And in this call off, the past tense is uh, called. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sarjalahu appointment Sarjalahu tenan setel. I called off the meeting yesterday. Say, subsa ba Sarjalahu tenan setel. I called off the meeting yesterday. Say it again. I called off the meeting yesterday. Or you can say I called off, you know, our appointment yesterday because I was under the weather or I was a little bit sick yesterday. Yes or no? Yes. All right, that's that's so nice. Okay, once we do these things, you guys like, what kind of meeting do you love to call off, right? Yeah. Especially for this political meeting or something else, right? Okay, that's nice. Is the number six? What do you mean, Milan? Figure out. For example, we just can't figure out the problem. You like that? We just need to figure out what he's after. No, but it took me a while to figure out why I felt, you know, so different. You're afraid of Bud because you can't figure out how to play him. I can't figure out the problem. What do you mean by figure out? Figure out, man. Yeah. Yeah, to 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 look for a solution for a problem, right? Yeah, or you can say like, it's just to understand something and look for a solution, right? That's it to be figure out. Yeah, coming uh, up with a solution. Some solutions, right? So let's land in figure out my that alone. So let's say, hey, let's get into the world, let's go to the world, let's go to the world, let's go to the world, I can, but I see, I can figure out, but I see, I can, uh, can figure out the problem. Say, I can figure out, say. I can figure out the, the, the problem. I can figure out the problem. I can figure out the problem. It's a little bit complicated. Yeah, I can figure out the problem. I can figure out the problem. You have right? Yeah, you have to figure out the problem. I can figure out the problem. You have right? If I tell you my problem, and then it's Mahari. Yeah, what you told me 
is a little bit tricky and I can't figure out your problem. So I can't figure out your problem is I can't understand and look for solutions, right? Understand that got you tell her touch with Mr. Tafel, Mephtes, Tamut, Unibala, figure out Ibala. Nibala, figure out. Well, see, figure out. Says Lured Dual Chalcum, Chigru Lured Dual Chalcum, if they lamet al Chalcum, it can't figure out the problem. Say, I can't figure out the problem. Do you think that it's easy to figure out, you know, problems? Uh, I don't think so, right? Mm -hmm. So to figure out a problem is just not to understand and look for solutions, right? Okay, that's that's so nice, okay? And then I just want you to see number three, which is like, hold on, but hold on. Let me say, silk is don't like you, hold on, hold on, Ilara. What do you mean by hold on, right? Hold on there, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on a second, all right? Yeah? Wait, wait with me for a moment, Madison. Yeah. Wait, wait with me, all right? Wait, Madison. Wait for a moment. Or wait for what? A moment. A moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on a moment. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. For example, you call me and say that, excuse me, Mr. Mahana, how you doing? Fine. Can I talk to your sister? Hold on, right? Mm. Hold on, right? Mm. Yeah, hold on means wait for some moment, right? Understand? Mm. Wait for some moment, right? Hold on a moment. Well, see, hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Hold on a second. Well, see, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I want to second be bad. Me talk a little. I'll send this topic now. I don't know. Since when? I second topic. Hold on a minute. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Right. Especially this is a very, very, very important phrase of verb while talking about like some some conversations on the phone. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I talk to your sister? Excuse me. Can I talk to the manager, the boss, please? And I say hold on. Right. Okay. That's so nice. And then I just want you to tell me the meaning I look for. You know, look me what no. Mamaka for le 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 mamaka le. We don't we don't translate that like that. I'll go look for some food. Take the shotgun. Look for your friends. The cops are saying he's a cop, so I won't look for the cop. So look for means to search or find. Find. For example, because I'm looking for a key. Say I'm looking for my key. Let's see. Hey, I'm looking for my key. I'm looking for my. I'm looking for a house. Say I'm looking for a house. I'm looking for a house. A uh, house, or I'm looking for. I'm looking for a big house, right? I'm. I'm planning to buy a house this year, so I'm looking for a house, right? I'm looking for a house means. What does it mean? I'm searching for. Her. Oh, I'm just finding. I'm searching. So I'm searching. I'm searching. I'm looking for. Her. What are you looking for this time? Ah, I'm looking for what? What are you looking for this time? How much necessarily with Just how much the present circumstances. What are you looking for? I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for. Mm, change. Looking for change. I'm looking for change, right? I'm looking for a lot of money. Say, 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 say. I'm looking for a lot of money. I'm looking for a lot of. Change. I should not have you like. Do you love money? Uh, huh? Yeah. Oh, you like? How I is can't it say any? I love money, man. You can't say but, you love money. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So what do you then? So like, I, I love working. I love work, and the money will come. Yeah. All right. I love working, get paid. And you get paid. Yeah. All right. No money, no fun. Do you, do you believe in that? Huh? No money, no fun. No, I don't believe in this. You sure? Yeah. You can have fun without money. Of course I do. How do you have fun without money, nigga? Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I may walk with my friends on the streets like. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Asphalt, the level of Begilis, I tell you, could you ask that Begilis as well? The Yalagans of Chaspalt, the Blue Baragal, not the Satan, or Ashen. Hey, boy, I see my car, let's learn to let the Maru Church in Satan. All right, you guys like Ashenaf is saying that I can be happy with the money if, if, if I got broke, even I can go out and I can enjoy the money and I feel still happy with no money. So let's see, even though that I'm, I am broke or chista, like, <laughs> I can be happy. So how, how do you say? How do you say this guy? What do you say about this statement? All right, so look for my man. Yeah? Look for, to search for or to find. All right. Turn on, turn on. Turn on. This is a very common phrasal verb that we use every day at home. Turn on. Turn on the lights. Well, see, Mabratu na abra balagi si. Hey. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. I'm gonna read. Well, see, lana bno Mabratu abra balagi. Hey. Turn on the lights. 
Turn on the light, I'm going to read. Turn on the light, I'm going to read. Turn, turn on the light, I'm going to read. Turn on the light. Order your men to turn on the Nova Corps. Now, I want everyone to sit down, strap in, and turn on all you've got. The red buttons turn on the individual park systems. Turn on the light. I'm going to read. Line up, no. Turn on the light, I'm going to read. Hey, turn on the light, I'm going to read. Turn on the light, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. I, I got a question. Okay. Do you turn on the light when you sleep or you turn off the light when you sleep? I turn on the light. You turn on the light when you sleep? sleep? Yeah, I can't sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And me too. Like, I, I love to turn off the light when I sleep and I will have a very beautiful sleep if I turn off the light. So, turn on means, Fatima, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Turn on the light. 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 Turn off 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 poverty in that tree. Do you not have fun that tree? Do you understand? Yes. Turn off means like just is to stop or to stop giving a source, electrical source to an appliance. John? Turn it off. Turn off the light. We turn off the power, she turns it back on. So turn off your television sets. Turn them off now. Therefore, turn off the light. Say, turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the lights and let's sleep. Will see? Turn off the lights and let's sleep. Turn off the light and let's sleep. Yeah. Let's TV. 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 Let's Tell us what you want to do. Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV, yeah, because I, I, I'm going to study, all right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, let's see, like, this thing. What, is, what does it say? Keep, keep away. Keep away. Keep away this from children. You like to call it stuff a bit? Keep away this from children. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Ask him what. So, to keep away means... The poor man simply cannot keep away from you, Miss Elliot. It will be difficult for them to keep away. Keep away means to put something, you know, at a distance. What does it mean? Putting something at a distance. At a distance. Yeah, put put something at a distance. That's the big keep keep away. Say keep it away, but you say keep it away. Keep it away. Or keep away. It from children. Keep away from children. Right? Or keep away. 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 I'm going to kill her, keep away from me, right? Actually, don't, don't say that, right? That's not a good statement, all right? Okay, and here I go, let's see. Keep away from me, but let's see. Keep away from me. Keep away from me. Say it. Keep away from me. Keep away from me. Can you write that? Keep away from me. Huh? When you get angry, when you get burned up, when you get upset, what do you do? What do you say? Keep away from me. I don't want to see your face, right? I don't want to see your face. Keep away from me. So let's see. Rak abal malati wanam, rak argas kamat mi wanal malu. Do you understand me? Yeah. All right, that's it. Okay. See, re re read it, read it this one. Keep down, but see, keep down. Yeah. To keep down is to control or to repress something. Don't keep me down. Right? If someone, like, for example, uh, what do the, what do, like, uh, some people do uh, to their, to their housemate, right? They control. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So, don't keep her down, but see? Don't keep her down. And so, they nagger, Mraman, Machok, or Simitum, keep down, but see, keep down. Keep down. Don't keep her down, but see? Don't keep her down. Yeah, what do you feel if somebody keeps you down after giving you food? Somebody gives you food, and then he or she like won't, she, she, he or she won't keep you down. Huh? I feel like I'm in prison. You feel like you're in prison, right? Don't keep me down, but see? Yeah, don't keep me down. Don't keep me down. In the Zibek, I toughen his trousers, meet at you, not touching that Nagarum, I'm your French so calm and tell you, don't keep it, don't keep me down. Say, don't keep me down. Don't keep me down. All right, or you can say, inseparably, my take on Chilala, don't keep down me, my Chilala. Negar can he keep down, my Debek Yonal, Minuan Yonal? My Debek Yonal, him or no. Oh, keep down, keep down, but the Tanabakan is it. 
You want to show you better tell the book about you say? Keep down, keep down. Keep down, keep down, someone is coming, but is it? Huh? Keep down, keep down, someone's coming. Yeah, keep down, keep down, someone is coming. Keep down there, someone is coming. All right? So to keep down means to hide yourself somewhere, right? To hide yourself. That's said we keep down. Or it can be to repress. Repress, but is it? Repress, but is it? Repress. Submit and make a command for repress or control someone. Or what? Control somebody. So it's got a different meaning depending on the context it is used. So in the context too, you lay a little gumar, keep down, right? Don't keep me down, but see, don't keep me down. I check with everybody, see, I tough on everybody, see, yeah. Don't keep me down. Let me say whatever I want to say, don't keep me down, right? Let me say whatever I want to say. I got a lot to say. I don't want you to keep me down, right? So to keep someone down means to repress or to control someone not to, not to say anything. You got it? Yes or no? Yes. Or if I say that dictators every day or dictators, you know, keep their people down. They don't want the people to say something. Yes or no? Yes. That, that, so, so to keep down is clear. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. That's clear. And what about this one? Like, I just want you to use this keep from, but keep, keep from. It means like keep secret. It may be like keep something as a secret. As what? As a secret. As a secret to hide something. To hide what? Something and then again, the back way, the mystery may as you want to Okay, I don't keep anything from you, but he's can't tell me the book on a girl in the universe. Hey, I don't keep anything from you. I don't keep anything from my mom. I don't think I don't keep anything from you. I don't keep anything, you know, from my teacher. Yes or no? Yes. So, can you make your own statements? Can you make your own sentence? About what? I'm using like keep from. Keep from. Uh, huh? So, can you even get a debug? Don't keep from. Don't keep anything from me, but is it? Don't keep anything from me. But Mama Hale, you know, don't keep anything from me. Say, don't keep anything from me. Don't keep anything. There's nothing I keep, you know, from you. Do you understand? There's nothing I keep from you. I'll tell you everything. So to keep from me is to keep a secret or to hide something as a secret. And then they book on Debbie Stir Mass Mount to keep from me. Do you understand me? Or it can be like to prevent something. It's got a different meaning. Anyways, like when you study phrasal verbs, please, I just want you to see the context. Context is very important because one phrasal verb may have different meanings depending on the context, you know, it is used. So I don't want to say that the only meaning of like keep from is to keep a secret or to hide something. It, it may have a different meaning, right? It's like you talk to me, Do you understand me? Yes. Yeah, that's it. And then do the next one, the last one. Do it. Do it, but see, do it. Do up, who like to man do 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 up to that say do up. So do me do that. What did I say? It doesn't mean like that. So when I say do up, I fasten my leg. No, my my leg. No, do up your jacket when you see. Hey, do up your jacket when you see. Do up your jacket. Jacket in quality when you see. Hey, do up your jacket. Say say say, do up your jacket. Ziga u jacket in quality when I'm still do up to that. So do up. I just want you to do up your jacket, right? It can be. Do I have your jacket? So to fasten like your clothes. Maybe sometimes you say like button up or button down, zip up, zip down. It depends on. But this is a general term or a general phrasal verb. So let's see jacket in the go, but you see? Do I have your jacket? What is it? Do I have your jacket? It's cold outside. Say? Do I have your jacket? It's cold outside. Hey, do I have your jacket? It's cold outside. Okay. All right? For example, it's freezing. If it's freezing, if it is very cold outside, and they say, hey, do up your jacket, it's really freezing outside. It's not good for you. Yes or no? And then if there is a person demo jacket, when it's going to be inside, it's going to be inside, it's going to be inside, it's going to be inside. Yeah? Button down. <laughs> Button down a jacket. It's really hot outside. Yes or no? It's really hot outside. So, like, such a phrase adverb will make you speak English like natives. So, if you want to understand very good English, I just advise you to understand, you know, phrasal verbs. Ashenafi, what is the importance of learning about phrasal verbs? Huh? Uh, in order to speak fluent English. Yeah. In order to speak fluent English, it's really better to understand some phrasal verbs, right? But the problem is, you know, the meaning of call and you know, off, and then the meaning is quite different. Now, phrasal verbs are tattoo. Middle bit of man, he called man, middle well, who are a off level two at an anaso and lay simeta. Call off but kangri. What a middle wall was done, little red down on a Nazianet, your verb and a proposition combination. We call them phrasal verbs. Studying these things will make your English more fluent than before. Slurdy in Nantan English, you will let a miasam, you will under the underwater tundu tonu. Flown to the catch with the nagru. Meander got to a clap for the nagru. Such phrasal verbs are very important. 
Please study more phrasal verbs and make your English super excellent. Understand? I love you and leave you guys like anybody who is interested in learning online classes. Just give me a call and I can teach you English beautifully and uniquely. I owe, I owe you big, Ilal, all right? So I just want you to like, share, and, you know, subscribe my YouTube channel. All right? So bye-bye, everybody.